Hey guys, Blubber here, and today we are going over, in my opinion, another top five best SCVs. I made one months ago, but hey, my opinions have slightly changed. And also, there are a lot more SCVs in the game now. Uh, so this does not affect the previous video. I still think all those SCVs are phenomenal. I'll have a link for that in the, in the description below. And I'll also have a card top right of the corner right now pop up for that. But yeah, um, it's been a while since I've done one. You guys really enjoyed the first one. That video got like 12 views. My channel was tiny when I made that. So let's see what we can get on this video. My videos have not been doing too well recently, given I was just gone for like two weeks. So I'm trying to get back on track. Anyways, let's hop into this video. So we are going over another top five SUVs. These SUVs are not in any particular order. They're all amazing in their own way. So I'm just going from the oldest SUVs on the list to the newest SUVs on the list. So yeah, there's five. None of the cars on this list require a game pass at all, although some of them do have higher trims that do require a game pass, but all the cars I'm testing out are no game passes, and they're all the most expensive cars, like 90 grand, although the cheapest one's around the 14 mark, so don't worry about prices. You're going to find something in a comfortable cost range here. Anyways, uh, let's hop straight in. So the first car we have here is a 2007 uh, Bronson Baxter. I'm pretty sure this is like a GMC in real life. And this is the first car on the list because this car is, first of all, really underappreciated. Also has a pretty cheap sticker price, which I'll put in the bottom right of the corner right here. It is in the SUV section. All these cars are in the SUV sections. You guys can find them. But yeah, uh, price will be bottom or somewhere on the screen. I'll put the price instead of going through the dealership because that's kind of just eh. But yeah, uh, this car is really good. Um, again, it's it's one of the cheaper cars on this list. It probably is the cheapest car. And yeah, anyways, uh, let's get this in top speed real quick. So. Again, if you're getting an SUV, do not expect it to go like super fast Sonic speed. Although this, the SUVs on this list are pretty decently fast. I think the next one after this is going to be a bit slow, but anyways, let's hit this thing to top speed real quick. So, all right, let's see what we can reach here. 133 miles per hour, not shabby at all. Brake test. Uh, I've seen better braking, but you got to consider we were just going 130 miles per hour. And here's the horn. Blinkers, of course. Blinkers for the headlights. And yeah, let's hop onto our next car, guys. Okay, so next we have a car that a lot of people actually really wanted on the old list. And I finally caved into it, the Hummer. This thing is actually pretty nice. I, I love the Hummer. Would I ever get one though? No, because I love the environment. Okay, I'm not, I'm not like one of those crazy environmentalists. But, you know, if it came down to it, I would probably not get a Hummer. But in Greenville, anyways, this car is really cool. So here, let's get the same top speed again. This car is one of gonna be one of the slower cars because God, consider how many like tons this thing weighs. I'm actually I don't know how much this weighs, but I'm assuming it weighs quite a bit compared to the other SUVs on this list. Again, like it does not have slow acceleration, just a bit of a slow top speed. And again, price will be on the screen here. This car does have more than one trim, so I'll put the price for every single trim. And yeah, this car here, let's do a braking test. Better braking than before, although the car was going slightly slower than the other car. Here's the horn. Blinkers, of course. Headlights with the blinkers. Without the blinkers. And yeah, this was Hits Mike. I apologize for that. And yeah, that was our second car on the list. Let's hop onto our third car, guys. Alright, so next we have a bit more of a quote unquote fancy car, but don't worry, this car does not require a game pass at all. Uh, we have a 2018 BMW right here. Now, you might be wondering, Blubber, are you sure this does not require a game pass? And no, it does not. This is the 2018 BKM Rosenheim. Oh, sh I just apologize. I forgot to put the name for the previous car. The previous car was 2007 River Sport. Again, anyway, sorry, apologies about that. Totally forgot. So, for this car, 2018 BKM Rosenheim. Uh, this is the RWD 2.0 TX line trim, and this is, I'm pretty sure, the only trim that does not require a game pass, so you are a bit limited when it comes to selection of this car if you do not have a luxury game pass. But I actually prefer the rear rear wheel drive models for this SUV because it makes the car a lot, lot more fun to drive. Anyways, uh, let's stop talking. Let's hop straight into this car because this thing is pretty nice. So I remember, in, oh wait, if it's rear wheel drive, yes, it can do like, kind of like, Okay, we, you can make it do a, like a slight burnout right there. And I'm pretty sure you can make it do a like donuts and stuff like that if you try hard enough. And I'll have a price for this trim. I'm not going to put all the trims because the other trims do require the luxury game pass. So I'm not. I'm only going to put... So when it comes down to these cars, if these cars do have luxury, like, luxury trims, I'm not going to put the price on because this video is mainly for people who do not have game passes. But anyway, so let's get this thing on the main road and test it out real quick because this thing's pretty cool. Uh, anyways, you guys are kind of seeing the blinkers being used here, or the headlights. I really like what they did with the rear end right there. 
figures the rear and blinker with those headlights, front and blinker with those headlights, and they do it with the mirrors too. Okay, let's get this thing to top speed. Well, we're getting top speed though. Here's the horn. And this car is pretty fast compared to the other SUVs on the list. So this car might be one of the winners on this list actually. For sure, probably one of my favorites. Okay, 161 miles per hour is what this thing maxes out at. Uh, let's wait till we get to the bottom of the hill, then we can do a brake check. Brake test. Okay, let's do a brake test. Pretty decent braking, if you ask me. Again, here's the horn again, one more time. And yeah, I, I love this car. A lot of people really do not appreciate this specific, specific trim when it comes to this car. And yeah, let's hop onto our fourth vehicle, guys. Okay. Just, you can you can never go wrong with a Honda. Like, come on, we have the Honda Passport right here. Really cool car. I used to use this thing all the time in Southwest Florida. And now that it's in GB, this thing is really cool. Uh, this is the 20, 2021 Elysian Permit. I am using the Elite trim, although there is a slightly cheaper trim, which both prices will be on screen right about now. And yeah, this car is really cool. I, I'm not the big fan of the rear end taillight design, but you know, it's not bad per se. Although I just don't really think it matches the front, but. Here, let's get the scene on road. Let's get the scene to top speed. Uh, while we're getting top speed, here's the horn. We also have headlights. And we can do blinkers to go with those headlights as well. Blinkers without the headlights. Okay, and this thing maxes out at 132 miles per hour, which isn't too shabby. This car is a bit, it's kind of like mid range compared to the rest of the vehicles on the list. Let's do the brake test though. And that is pretty decently quick braking and pretty smooth braking if you ask me. Compared to the other cars, that's like the smoothest braking we've had. So big props goes in there. And yeah, all around, like, this car is pretty nice. I, I, I just find it pleasing to look at, but it isn't too distracting. And it blends in pretty well. It's something if, like, you want a nice SUV, that's not going to stand out too much, but it's not, like, ugly, I guess. I, I don't know. This is a really good SUV. And I 100% recommend it to you guys, but let's hop on to the f number one car on our list. Okay, guys, so for our final car, we have the... Oh, wait, this isn't the right car. Oh, ap apologies. It's actually right over here. Uh, we have the 2021 Fellfire Dominator. I'm pretty sure it's... It actually, it's called the Fellfire Dem Dominator. I forget that... I'm pretty sure this is the Land Cruiser in real life. And this is a really expensive car in this game, but it does not require a game pass, surprisingly. So price will be on screen right about now. And this car is crazy. It sounds amazing and it's pretty fast and the design's pretty nice to look at. It's not distracting, not ugly at all. So let's hop and take this thing for a drive. The only thing I'm not a big fan of when it comes to this car are the rims. Okay, just listen to this thing. That is pleasing to hear. Okay. Oh, uh, well, we get to me right here are blinkers. Blinkers are also pretty nice. Oh, we also have headlights, of course. I really love what they're doing with a lot of the newer cars' headlights with those, like, red things right there. Anyways, here are blinkers with headlights. And, okay, let's get this thing top speed real quick. Now, this car actually has a pretty low top speed compared to the other cars, which I find surprising for how, like, fast this car's acceleration is. Uh, I don't know. I wish this car was a bit, like, had a much faster top speed, but it feels like you're going pretty fast when you're doing this thing, so... I'm not complaining, you know? Anyways, uh, oh yeah, here's the horn. Actually, we'll do a horn when we do the brake test. Anyways, let's do the brake test now. Not, this is probably the worst braking with cars. Uh, here, let, you want, I'm gonna speed up the footage and we're gonna try that one more time. Okay, that is much better. I, I don't know what went on there, but that, that braking was kind of bad that we did back there. But yeah, the braking's not too bad on this car. Not the best, not the smoothest. I'm pretty sure the Honda wins when it comes to the smoothest braking. Oh yeah, and here's the horn. Kind of hard, hard to hear it over the engine. But yeah, this was the number one car on this list. Again, these cars are on any specific order at all. They're all good in their own ways, so kind of pick and choose what cars you want from this list. And yeah, I'm, doing, I'm redoing a bunch of my order list videos because Green was added a bunch of cars since then. So, uh, probably keep your eye out, eyes out for some new lists coming out. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.